so chapter 21, uh, it names discussing about the channels and the vessels. But uh, truly, they talking about uh, something relationship with the illness. So the form, yeah, with the Yi Huang Di Nei Jing, uh, most chapters, yeah, most chapters in the form, Huang Di ask a question and the Huang Di's teachers answer the question. But uh, truly, it's kind of discuss. It's not a simply ask a question and answer the question. But Jesus, uh, in this kind of form, they discuss at the end. So Huang these questions, yeah. if the living situations, yeah, if the living situations or environment, the daily activities, and the crime, Quiet means under the brief or currently. So, like uh, they just list some example here, but basically they ask question if the daily activities include the changing of the pulse. So, the relationship here. Pulse changing means people internally yin yang changing. If yin yang changing, if yin yang changing, we talk about the healthy condition, yin yang balance. That's people healthy. But if e are losing balance, if e are losing balance, thus basically people will get illness. How we can know if a patient in yang balance? or e are not in balance from the pulse. So basically question here is if the daily life, if they infected the pulse or other words, if it infected, people will be healthy or not healthy. So that's basically question here. That's basically question here. So means if truly daily life affected the pulse or affected the people, healthy condition or not healthy condition. So still the same teacher, Qi Bu. Yeah, that's the uh, one of the Huang Di's teacher's name, yeah, the Huang Di's teacher's name, Qi Bu. Uh, usually we talk about the Qi for pronunciation, and the Chinese character is different. Yeah. This one is Qi, second pronunciation, and the different Chinese uh, uh, characters, so different words, yeah, different words. Qi Bu. So Qi Bo answer, yeah, Qi Bo answer, it will be changing, yeah, pulse will be changing by the situations, yeah, by the situation, like uh, if patient fear, or maybe they're angry, 
or maybe they're tired, fatigued. Their activity, like they're working, physical activity, or movement, or exercise, or maybe they just quiet there. Yeah, like uh, sitting there, lay down there, didn't do anything. So means any kind of uh, physical activity and also including some emotions, thus will be changing patient's pulse. The same idea like we discussed, like uh, foundation, we're talking about what's caused the illness, the etiology of the illness, we say we have three big categories. Internal one. Yeah, internal one. Seven emotions. And external one. Six kilometer or six evil. Yeah, the kilometer changing to evil. They call people sick or ill. And the third level has some other issues. Not belong to external level, not belong to internal level. So truly, people fear something or angry does belong to emotions. Fatigue activity does maybe belong to other issues and the crack. So we are not truly discuss external reason here. We only discussing internal reason and other reason. So in some conditions, like emotion changing and other reasons, it will be changing the pulse. In other words, if changing the pulse, they will changing people's healthy condition. Then they gave some example here. Then they gave some example. Walking in the night caused people asthma, short breath, panting, due to influence of the king. So we know that night time, that's by Yin Yang theory, belong to the king. That's more in time. In time, the energy will holding me in. The energy holding me in or qi holding me in, people should be quiet. Not moving. So that's we say in the night time, people should be sleep, lay down, on the by and the sleep. Now we're talking about, now we're talking about, especially walking in the night. That's kind of physical activity. So that's, like we need to use yang, yang couldn't hold in, in some moon and some yang. So that's truly like influence the key, key or key function. Like a wiggle up, yeah. couldn't hold it, yeah, couldn't hold it. Then coming out, 
some more, more tea, the more tea coming out. They should be holding in the kidney. Now, because uh, walking in the night, if the chi not holding inside, they coming to like uh, more superficial of the body and uh, moving there. That means excessive chi there. So that excessive chi affected the love that then caused the people like uh, asthma, asthma or short breath. So that's basically, yeah, that's basically. So why they only mainly talking about like a short breath, short breath. So that's when people getting sick, yeah, when people getting sick, we are easily to see some symptoms, especially qi disorder. Qi disorder, the first symptom, people breathing disorder, short breath. So that's the first situation we talk about, especially, we talk about the walking here, but truly, like a more physical activity, whatever you do, yeah, whatever you do, maybe exercising, maybe labor work, yeah. whatever, yeah, whatever, like a chi couldn't uh, store it in the kidney in that time, that's still circulation in the superficial body, perform special like activity there. So that's damage the key, and then further the can cause people like a short breath. Finding here, I think a better translator is a short breath. Uh, like people, pretty difficult person. Not enough tea. So that's the first situation. The second situation, second situation, writing result from falling down from the high place. So that's another special situation, like the people suddenly falling down from high place and the scared people. So still can cause people the breathing problems. So that kind of situation is especially infections of liver. So like a kind of scare will be damaging some liver function there. The then that kind of situation is more chi affected of the skin. So here we don't have special explanations why we don't have special explanations why. So, but generally we can thinking about emotions. Certainly, angry belong to liver, but any kind of emotions could be controlled by the liver. So, emotions can damage liver function, like the liver couldn't hold in all the chi in there. Couldn't hold in all the chi in there. Then, some excessive kind of chi will affect the breath. Pretty similar, like we're talking about wood health disorder attacking the earth. So that's uh, another situation. Then we're talking about 
Bye, show le. Yes, bye, show le. Friday. Yeah, it's not the last one we talk about. That kind of Friday. It's just because people falling down from a high place to low place, and then like. Then generally Friday here. People scared by some other reason. That then cause the people short breath. That's got disorder of the lung. And the excessive energy will be affecting the heart. Affecting the heart. So we still don't have special examination here, explanation here. Uh, so generally speaking, yeah, generally speaking. So these kind of situation look like a both lung and the heart, they located in the upper gym. So usually, generally say one organ have disorder, pretty easily cause the another organ's disorder. So that's writing cause the sharp price. That's mainly is the lung qi disorder. When lung qi disorder and cause the shen disorder. So hard holding shen. Then other situation. Yeah, other situation. So people cross the river. I think the water here, you can think about some river there. And the people try to walking across the water from this side, go to other side. But by accident, by accident, they falling down in the middle, in the middle. Falling down, yeah. Falling in the cross the water, that's the mean here. And cause the short breath. So that's the still influence of the kidney and the bones. So still kidney control the bone. Yeah. Kidney control the bone. And uh, Water, that's the five elements belong to the king. So that's a kind of connection there, and especially people falling down to the water, that's damage the kidney and the damage the bone, and can cause people. Shut breath. So they just gave us some examples. They just gave us some examples. So basically, gave us some idea. Kind of a movement or maybe emotions, or maybe some activities, or maybe some accident, whatever. They will infect it internally qi circulation. They will cause qi disorder, relationship with different organs. And then cause the organs problem. So organs problems show up 
first leg, we can see the symptom. Short breath, that's most. Certainly, we have some other symptoms we talk about later. So that's uh, give us some example. Yeah. Any kind of uh, accident or maybe physical activity or maybe emotion will disturb qi and cause qi disorder. And uh, that kind of qi disorder can go to different organs. And the sim symptoms we see, we can coming from people got a short breath. So under such kind of situation, some people, yes, yeah, some people, pretty brave, yeah, pretty brave. They will not heal because generally say their qi circulation in their body is pretty normal or strong. So they use the words breathe here. So breathe here, including like the straight is strong and also including their body condition is strong. They just use the preview, but truly they're talking about their body strong here. So in other words, Zheng Qi stronger of the people. Our body Zheng Qi strong kind of people. Even in this kind of condition, yeah, we're talking about maybe falling down from the hair and the gear, and maybe they cross the water and falling down. So still body strong kind of people, they will not get in sick because normally their qi flowing is normal or strong. But, yeah, but some people, they use another word, coronet here. So these kind of people will get in sick or ill because these kind of people, the qi circulation in their body is not that smoothly. It's a kind of stagnation. So that's, uh, in other words, some people, it's weaker, maybe weaker on the body, physical body, maybe weaker in the spirit, but whatever, they weaker there. And uh, if they meet uh, this kind of condition, like we talked about before, they will think they will get illness because originally the qi circulation inside of their body is not smooth. It's some stagnation in there already. So are there other environments, reasons, they are pretty easily getting sick. So that's, uh, we say, it's not all the circulation situations will be same for the, all the people. We still talking about the balance here, like a body zheng qi, how stronger of the body zheng qi, how stronger of the passenger and to see the balance, which side is more heavy. So the other side will be dominant. So that is why, say the dog, uh, the dog originally in Chinese, like the way, 
the road or the way. I think you, 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 you hear about some Taoism. That's the same thing. Uh, but basically, uh, in classical book, they usually talk about some ruler or pencil. So the ruler of all principles, when we make a diagnosis, we need like inspected, yeah, inspected from their brief or current. So basically, we, what are we talking about? Look at their shen or spirit levels there. And then look in their bodies. Yeah, look in their bodies. Like how stronger their bone, how stronger their muscles, and the skin. So that's in other words, when we look in patient and when we make a diagnosis, we will look in from both. Shen affected, yeah, spirit affected, and the physical body affected. Then we make a diagnosis. So we are not only, yeah, we are not only from one aspect because we talk about the illness. It is caused by the balance between the parties and the how stronger of the body zheng qi. Body zheng qi, two big aspects, including spirit, including physical body. So that's they say, we need examinations from these aspects. But summarized is the shen and the physical body, how stronger it is. And then give us some other example here. Give us some other example here. So we just talking about we looking for the people, uh, shen affected and the physical body affected. Then we make diagnosis. Then give some other example here. So say overeating, lending to sweating from the stomach. So sweat is another symptom to looking people's body's condition. Yeah. Similar like people respiration. Yeah. Respiration, we are easily the fun. And the sweating also is a little bit. Like we only from our looking. We know when we make a diagnosis, we have four ways looking and smelling and hearing. Smell and hear. And ask the question. And the population. Thus we say uh, our TGM diagnosis. TGM diagnosis. We have four ways. Yes, we have four ways. But in here, we mainly talking about looking. So even we are not touching for the people, we are not asking questions. Only from the looking, we know like a people 
have sick or not sick, have illness or no, not illness. And looking, we especially looking to aspect here. Why is the respiration? Why is the sweating? So people sweating, people sweating. And because they overeating. So that's why they overeating can lend to sweating. So that's basically coming from stomach. So stomach holding the food, like people eating too much food then they will cause the some like a food qi, cause the some shen rushing up. That's some we say. So food qi rushing up and the steam like the body and then cause like so that's my example here, overeating, lending sweating from the stomach. And the fat, yeah, fat. So fat is a shen disorder. Yeah, fat is a shen disorder. Uh, if fried, yeah, if fried, they say depleted acid. That kind of emotion is fried directly relationship with the kidney and the kidney holding the acid. Cause the acid deficiency and the kidney hard kind of relationship there. So that's a kind of fighting emotions. Lending people sweat. That's basically disorder of the heart. Because heart qi have some disorder. Fighting make the spirit qi floating and then cause people sweating. So that's uh, some sweating we can relationship by it cause and the relationship with different organs. Then another situation here, walking long distance, that's the go on long, distance and especially with heavy loader. And that kind of situation lending to sweating. That's coming from the key. So that's the if we're talking about uh, with heavy load, certainly our bone support our body. And the people walking long way, <clears throat> still the bone, yes, yeah, still the bone. That's two aspects use our bones function there. So truly long term damage the key function. So that's uh, if in this situation, people get sweating. That's basically is a key function disorder. They say from the key means key disorder. And if people walking 
Ia hybrid. Yeah. People walking for hybrid. And the old software. Thus, the sweating coming from the river. So people hurry walking. Thus, use the tendons. Tendons relationship with the liver and the fair emotions damage the liver shen. Liver shen is the food. We say uh, we have big shen is holding by the heart. We also have another four shen, like each of the organs, they holding one small shen. Uh, liver holding hun, lung holding pu. Spin holding e. Kini holding ju. So each of the, their spirit directly relationship their function. So if their functions normal, their whole spirit is holding there. If their function abnormal, they will functionally losing and the shen disorder. So that the fear kind of emotion pretty damage their hun and the damage the liver. So that kind of situation is called sweating. We say that coming from the liver. And if excessive physical working, it's lending to sweating. That's from the sleep. So physical working, physical activity, we use the muscles and the physical activity, we use the four limbs. Four limbs, mainly muscles there. And uh, overdo it, damage the muscle, damage the limbs, and the damage is being functioned and the can cause the sweat. So we say that's uh, from the sweating, different kind of situations, relationship with different organs. So like before, when we're talking about sweating, maybe we're only thinking about the two organs. One organ is the heart. Because the heart control the body fluid part is the sweat. Means people sweaty, heart function must be normal. And sending the body fluid, sending blood and the body fluid all over the body so people can able to sweat. And another organ we thinking about is the relationship with lung. Be because the lung like uh, open, close the pores. So that's we talking about. I think I used this picture before, but maybe not in this class. Like uh, some uh, water pump go to our home. And then we have a uh, like an uh, open close control here. So hard control part is the water inside the pipe. If no water, certainly 
if no water inside the pipe here, certainly no water dripping down here. The lung control part is open closed here. So certainly even we have water inside circulation here, but if we are not open here, people still not thriving. So that's usually like before we talking about sweating control by two organs. But now we know sweating also relationship like all of the some organs, not only the heart, not only the lung. So when we see people excessive sweating, we talk about excessive sweating. We need to ask a patient some questions. Then we try to figure out what caused the people sweating. And then we can think about that's a possible damage with which kind of organ. So still give us some example here, but generally like uh, open or mind, like uh, even slightly relationship with the other open, not only the heart, not only the lung. So that's from our inspections, we can see. Then we talk here about some seasonal changes, yes, seasonal changes. Seasonal changing relationship with the illness. So in Asian time, people more pay attention for the season changing. Because that's generally say that's yin yang changing. So we have a seasonal yin yang circles, like we're talking about five elements, spring season, and then yang more rising to the summer, and then yang gradually go down to the fall, Then yang more holding inside the body or holding in deeper part of the earth last winter. And then yang gradually rushing up, go to the spring from the winter. From the winter. So that's our circle for four seasons. Yeah, four seasons. So season changing, yin yang changing. And uh, if people's body couldn't follow the yin yang changing, that's possible cause the illness. Like a different kind of seasons, yeah, different kind of seasons when you go we need to follow the ruler, yeah, follow the ruler. Uh, so like I say in this semester, uh, I didn't repeat it the, to talking about our chapter one, chapter two. So that's the two chapters. Basically, they discuss how people follow the season in yang changing and the maintenance internal body. So generally speaking, yeah, generally speaking, people is better to physical activities in the summer season. That's the young season. And the more rest in the winter. That's the in season. The same idea, like we say, in the night time, in night time, yang should hold it deeply inside the body. Yeah. Don't disturb yang. Okay? Don't 
don't disturb Yang in the night time. And don't disturb Yang in the winter time. So less physical activity in the winter, more physical activity in the summer. So thus follow the season changing. That's the common ruler. If we are against it, that's truly easily cause the sick or illness. Like right now, we're still talking about some young boy. They play the game whole night, whole night. And then they sleep whole day. Look like they still got eight to 10 hours sleep, but truly it's upside of you and young. It's pretty easily getting sick. And we also hear about some story, sad story, some, some young guy, uh, they're suddenly died, they suddenly died yeah, because they like always, always, not follow the yin yang, like always, like a whole night, not sleep. So that's a truly damaged body. So we need to follow the yin yang changing. Uh, yin yang changing happens in a year, like a four season. Yin yang changing also in a day, like a daytime and a nighttime, like if we learn TCM, the best the time go to bed, 11 p.m. Uh, it's not true, like right on the 11, 11 p.m. you better feel sleep already. Yeah. So like uh, about 20 or 30 minutes before 11, go to bed, and then you can make sure fell asleep at the uh, Because, yeah, because 11 to 1 a.m., 11 p.m. to 1 a.m., that's the gallbladder time. Gallbladder we call Shaoyang. Shao is small. Small yang, uh, also we say wan yang, yeah, wan. J star, yeah, yang J star, yeah. Uh, midnight, yeah, is uh, in time, yeah, midnight is in time. But a little bit yang is coming already. Similar like a winter, yeah, similar like a winter, like right now it's winter. But some yang start already. You can see outside of the tree and some grass, they start gradually coming already. Yeah. So that time, if you sleep before 11 p.m., truly you can hold in yang in deeper of the body that people getting sleep. If after 11 p.m., some young coming, small young coming already. So that time, you will difficult to feel sleep. Difficult to feel sleep. So before, and also the gallbladder regular other marine. So that's a pretty important time to go to deep sleep. So that's they say, follow the yin yang changing, follow the yin yang changing. Then still give us some example here. Yeah, what's caused the illness and what's like a normal situation. So talking about the food, after we eat it, they directly go to the stomach. Jing here means nutrition. 
part, nutrition part. Certainly later on they can change uh, to gene and blood, the ISIS and the blood and the gene. But here basically is like a more nutrition part, yeah, more nutrition part. They transport to the liver and nourishing the sinner. So when I look in here, I, I couldn't believe that. I couldn't believe that. So we say Huang Di Neijing is coming 2,000 years ago. But this part are exactly the same idea, like all modern medicine. Like all modern medicine, we're talking about the food nutrition is to go to stomach, and then from stomach go to small intestine. And the nutrition is sending to the liver. So that looks like exactly the same idea with all modern medicine. Yes, yeah, so incredible, yeah. So that's uh, our TGM, yeah. And from the liver, they nourish other part of the body, especially go to the sin. So that's uh, we talking about the food, nutrition, yeah, nutrition, ice is part, nutrition part. And uh, we say the food taking to the stomach, the tubers part. Uh, tubers here is not exactly we talking about the tubers, like a totally no use. Yeah. Uh, the words directly transfer from, from Chinese characters, but a meaning, yeah, but a meaning is like a kind of more mutable part, more mutable part. Um, how do I say this part, tubers part? So basically, you can think about the function part, yeah, function part. That kind of a chi transform to the heart and the nourishing the vessel. So basically, yeah, basically, uh, this page, uh, we can use, compare with last page together, the last page together. Uh, so the food go to the stomach. One part, yeah, one part, they just transfer to gene part, or nutrition part. They will go to the liver. Another part, still nutrition part, yeah, still nutrition part. They go to the heart. So if we try to separate, like what are we talking about the tubers here? Uh, basically, we say clear part belong to yang, tuber part belong to yin, that's what they say, the uh, tuber part. But uh, truly, yeah, truly, uh, go to the liver, uh, go to the liver, they talk about this more nourishing the sinners here. But go to the heart, the nourishing vessels need blood, vessels of blood. So they just talking about different kind of nutrition go to different organs and the nourishing different organs. But uh, simply say, all of our nutrition coming from our food. That's the nutrition. 
and whatever they transform to the liver or they transform to the heart, finally they will nourish it all over the body. Yeah, it's like in yeah, yin qi. Yeah, it's like yin qi. Yeah. So, but generally say, yeah, generally say, uh, tell us the nutrition is coming from of of food, and they coming start from middle jiao, and then sending to other part of the body. Then still talking about continually, yeah, continually. Why so cheap? Why so cheap? So why so cheap here? Mainly talking about blood, qi or yin qi. That we say nutrition qi, yeah, nutrition qi. Following, yeah, following in the channels. And the uh, channels chi flowing, yeah, flowing in the channels and uh, flowing to the lung. So when we talk about the channels here, we are not only talking about marine, we are also talking about blood vessels. Blood vessels. So qi and the blood moving inside of the channels, thus including blood vessels, including the meridian. And they go to the lung. And from the lung, sending all the qi blood and the essence go all over the body. They say transport to the skin and the hair. That's the directly relationship part with the lung. But truly later on we talk about they will send it to all over the body. So that's they say nutrition. They coming from middle jiao stomach. And then they sending to the liver, they sending to the heart. And uh, we know heart pushing blood follow all over the body. And uh, then they will send it to the lung. And uh, from the lung, from the lung, in this page, they talk about sending to the skin. And sending to the hair. But generally say superficial of the body. Yeah, superficial of the body. From the lung, yeah, from the lung. So that's uh, nourishing there. Yeah, that's nourishing there. And we're also talking about the lung connected with all the vessels. Uh, in your foundation, I think you were talking about before, lung connected with 100 vessels. So that's why we say when we take the pulse right now, we only in the chun kou. 
location, location. Chunkou, or sometimes we call chikou, the same. That's just the pause right now we take it. Right in the long channel. So that means because long connected with all the vessels, all the vessels. So we can feel the qi and the blood conditions in the chun ko or qi ko position. We can feel the pulse there. So that's why, that's why. Just because lung connected with all the vessels. So that's why we say vessels here. We are not only talking about blood vessels. Because blood vessel circulation inside mainly is blood. Certainly, some nutrition qi also in there. But from the chun kou or qi kou, we also can feel the qi condition. So that means that vessel here also including also including the channels like the meridian, so qi circulation in the meridian. So that's uh, where we say qi or nutrition is originally coming from stomach. The ice is qi, yeah, ice is qi. We say from the lung sending to the skin and the hair. And the meeting with the other like a meridian. Ice is chi together from the vessels chi with others together. And uh, then go to the organ. So that's basically we say nutrition coming to the zhang organ first. Absorption is the cut. Start coming from stomach, then sending to the zhang organ. From the zhang organ sending to all over the body is superficially, that we talking about the skin and the hair there. And uh, the meeting with the meridian, qi, yeah, meeting with the meridian or vessels here together, and then sending to the After they go to the Fu organ, that's kind of essence. And then we say Fu organ, usually it's passing, not a story. And then they go back. So in Fu organ, they give some functions like uh, transportions. And then Fluids go back to some organ again. In that way, qi is balanced. So in other words, qi circulation or ices circulation inside of the body, there from some organ go to full organ, then from full organ go back to some organ again. So in these kind of situations, they keep internally zhang fu organs qi balance. Uh, uh, I think we talking about uh, before. We talking about the yin qi and the wei qi. The circulation. Yeah, wei qi and yin qi. 
Why is the circulation outside of vessel? Why is the circulation inside of vessel? They wait in In daytime, in daytime, circulation in superficial of the body. But in the night time, they will circulation in deep part of the body. So deep part of the body means sun to open. Monday, sun open. So the circulation daytime, 25 time in the day and 25 time in the night. So totally 15 circles in the one day. So that's talking about the qi normally circulation here. That normally circulate. So then the qi, yeah, then the qi. So balance the qi, how we know the qi is balanced? Like we just talked about, we can find the power in qi kou or chun kou. It's just right now, we take the power. It's just right now, we take the power. So we say, when we take the power, we, we separate the chun guan chi. Yeah, chun guan chi location. Kao means open. Yeah, Kao means open. It's not truly open there, but it looks like open. From there, we can feel the internal body qi condition. Yeah, balance of the qi, we can feel it from there. So that's why they call Kao. Uh, call also means mouth. So like from there, we can know internal body condition. In there, we can feel qi condition. So qi open there, that qi open there, we can, we can feel it, we can know it. Or chun just means we call it chun guan chi. We call it chun guan chi, like the location, but the same, but the same. So we say we can feel the qi, how balanced or not balanced, the qi condition from the chun kou or qi kou. And we also, can know the changing of the pulse in that location. So certainly if balanced, people is healthy condition. If unbalanced, people is illness condition. When people in the illness condition, we still feel the pulse, then we know how severe of the illness and how the illness will be development. It will be getting better soon or maybe it is worse the condition. People may be dead. So we can make a decision there. So how we can make a decision, I think uh, in our class before we talking about the generally say by five elements. 
if the pulse in the control circle, what means control circle? Would control the earth. Earth control the water. Water control the fair. Fair control the mind. So if the units in the control circle, that's basically it's difficult to treat. People may be dead. So like uh, the seasonal kind of control, or maybe organal kind of control. Uh, we talking about the two kind of situation before. One kind of situation we talking about the pulse relationship with the organs. Basically, pulse relationship with organs. It is the pulse relationship with the feces. So different seasons, they will have different quality of the pulse. Like a spring season, very pale, summer season, hawk like, yeah, coming pretty stronger, and the go like a hawk. And the fall season is hair like, yeah, hair like, still in the superficial position, but it's not a lot strong. And the winter season, pulse pretty deep. So thus, if you feel the pulse and the relationship with the patient's illness, like in each of the organs, if they are in control circle, the illness will be pretty dangerous or difficult to treat. If they are in the generation circle, the illness is easily to treat and easily recovered. So that's a generative circle, like a mother and a son related. So we're just talking about the, we can feel the qi, yeah, we can feel the qi, balance or not balance, especially in the Tsunko location. So that's the twinkle is our Tai Yin, Han Tai Yin long channel there. It's connected with all the 400 vessels. So that's why we can feel the Qi condition in twinkle. And from the pulse changing, we can know like uh, how severe of the illness, how development of the illness. We just talking about the food go to the stomach and how like a uh, the nutrition circulate. Then we talking about uh, when the water go to the stomach. Then how they circulate. So the water, yeah, the water, Jing Qi or ISIS Qi. Here means, yeah, means, still means nutrition part of the water. Yeah, nutrition part of the water. So basically, they still talking about nutrition part of the water. So they separate talking about the food and the water. 
So they are distributed and transport to the three. When we're talking about the food nutrition, they go to the liver, they go to the lung. Now we're talking about water. Yeah, water go to the spring. And then spring's TNT functions working. The sending go to the lung. So we say water go to the spring first. And from the spring upward to the lung. And the lung have function. We say regular the water passenger. And the transport water to the blood. So that's from the lung to the blood. So that's we talking about regular water, yeah, regular water. We mainly depending spring and the lung function. And some extra water sending to the blood, certainly from the bladder, really to from the urine, really to outside. So that's the, the water going, yeah, the water going. So in this way, like a circulation this way, and the ice is part of the water, sending to all over the bodies, all over the bodies, like we're talking about from the lung, we're talking about food nutrition. We say sending to the skin, and sending to the hair are like a superficial. So certainly for the water, still sending from the lung directly to sending to the uh, superficial of the body also. And then go to deeper line, yeah, go to deeper line. They talking about the go to file channel here. Basically, they talking about file channel relationship with file zhang organ internally. Generally speaking, yeah, generally speaking, the essence. Yeah, gene ices, including coming from the food, including coming from the drink, they will sending all over the bodies and sending internal organs. So these kind of sending, yeah, these kind of sending, they will follow the changing of the fall season. We say each season, yeah, each season relationship with each organ means they need like a essence, the degree is the different. So they will follow the season changing and adjust it like a which organ, how much they send it. So that's basically the changing of yin yang in the five zang open. Season changing, yin yang changing. Zang fu organ relationship with yin and yang. So that's still 
relationship with the four seasons. So season changing. Yin yang in zhang fu organs, they change. They need essence will be amount will be different. So our body automatically follow the season changing and the organ changing. They adjust it. So that's, we say that's the normal condition or normal changing. They put a channel here, truly including the organ also. So that's we say the ices coming from our food, coming from our drink, sending all over the body, including superficial of the body, including deeper of the body. Thank for opening. Then we're talking about the pulse again. Pulse relationship with the illness and the relationship with the treatment. So in this part, yeah, this part, uh, they talking about like a with channel pulse like a coming first, but uh, truly they talking about the later. They talking about what kind of pulse belong to different channel kind of pulse. Mm. So basically, yeah, basically, in the ending part, uh, in the ending part, they talking about the quality of the pulse. Quality of pulse. I think we can go to this part first, then we go back. Yeah, then we go back. Uh, so let's talk about the quality of the pulse first. Then we talk about when they come, what will be happening. So that's uh, Huang Di asked, yeah. So how about yeah, how about the pulse relationship with the Tai Yang channel? So Tai Yang channel, yeah, Tai Yang, we have Han Tai Yang, we have Fu Tai Yang, Han Tai Yang, small intestine, small intestine, Fu the Tai Yang, your blood. Then we see the quality of the pulse here. So Tai Yang just like a chi of the three yang. We're talking about like a number of the yang in different channel before. Tai Yang. It's the old yang, it's mo yang, or three yang. Yang ming is two yang, or double yang. Shao yang. Is a small yang. Or beginning of the yang. Yeah. So that's the yang level. Yeah, that's the yang level. In yang channel. Yeah, yang level in yang channel. So tai yang is three yang there. Yang means two yang there. Shao Yang is Wan Yang, or is the beginning of the Yang. Yeah, beginning. So they talk here about the Tai Yang, just like a three Yang. 
you can think about uh, more yang in there. So thus, uh, there are more floating in the superficial layer. And uh, kind of uh, stronger location in the superficial layer or floating in there. Because the yang, like we talking about the power, if we separate with the three levels, superficial level, middle level, or deep level. Certainly superficial level is no yang level. Three yang, yang pulse, all the yang floating up to the superficial. So if you can feel it more in the superficial level. So that's three yang. Or Tai Yang Pulse because they have Mo Yang, they are floating. They are floating. Then ask about Shao Yang. About Shao Yang. What is the Shao Yang Pulse? What is the Shao Yang Pulse? So Shaoyang Pulse, they say, just like Wan Yang, just like Wan Yang. Uh, it is slippery, means moving smoothly. It's not like you level your slippery, but I think the meaning is smoothly moving there but not forceful means not a lot of strong because just small yang in there. So if we use the like uh, smoothly moving for Shao Yang like this way, and the Tai Yang will be more strong like this way. So that's for Shao Yang Pao, for Shao Yang Pao. And then what pulse is uh, Yang Ming pulse? What pulse is Yang Ming pulse? Yang Ming pulse is the largest and the floating. So Yang Ming pulse, they didn't especially talking about location, but they're talking about the large and Floating still more in the yang channel because that all belong to yang pao. All three belong to yang pao, but the yang ming pao is large, yeah, large. So that's generally say, yeah, generally say. Yang pulse will be in the yang location. Even Shao Yang, they didn't especially talk about the location, but still in the yang location. If we separate it like a deeper to two level, still superficial level is the yang level. Deeper level is the yin level. So yang pulse will be in yang location, but they have different kind of yang condition. So Tai Yang floating, yeah, floating, more floating in the superficial. And the Yang Ming is lodging and floating. So how we understanding Tai Yang and the Yang Ming Pao's condition. Both Yang, Tai Yang is three Yang. Yang Ming is double Yang. Look like Tai Yang have more Yang there. Tai Yang have more Yang there. Yang Ming less Yang there. But truly, we say Tai means more. 
And also we have another word for type, O. They have Mo Yang, but we 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 talking about the Yin Yang changing. Yin can changing to Yang, Yang can changing to Yin. So that's uh, compare with Yang Ming. Yang Ming is two Yang there, but the Yang Ming is little bit more stronger compared with Tai Yang. Uh, I think for this part, you can try to thinking about our sick channels condition. When we talking about the diagnosis, when we talking about uh, sick channel diagnosis, Tai Yang is the uh, condition like uh, EPI condition, external passenger evading, evading more superficially. And the EPI condition, the pulse, floating pulse, yeah, floating pulse, more stronger, yeah, more stronger in the superficial condition, superficial condition. So that's for Tai Yang pulse also. And the Yang Ming condition, yeah, Yang Ming condition, like the passenger go to a little bit deeper, like, yeah, little bit deeper. Like. So truly compared with Tai Yang, is not that uh, superficial. Still, you still can feel it in the superficial position. But mainly is stronger, or we can use the word smart. So that's the condition. Internal excessive heat condition. Like we talking about a full big. One of the big. Big pulse, yeah, big pulse. So that's the condition and basically for these two, yeah, basically for these two. And the Shao Yang, we say moving smoothly, but not that strong. Then we're talking about the pulse in the in channel. So pulse in the Tai Yin still stronger, forceful, and deeper. So in pulse in, in level, yeah. Deeper is the in level. Superficial is the yang level. Yang pulse generally say you feel it in the yang level. In pulse you feel it in the yin level, in the deep level. So Tai yin pulse you feel it stronger in the deeper levels. Yeah, in the deeper level. And then double yin. Yeah. We're talking about the yin. Tai Yin is three Yin. Shao Yin is double Yin or two Yin. And uh, Jue Yin. Jue Yin is the terminal Yin. Chu Lei is Wan Yin. So that's the Yin, different level of the Yin. So when we talking about double Yin here, uh, we talking about the Shao Yin. Yeah, we talking about the Shao Yin. So Shao Yin pulse, Still feel in the in level, yeah, deep level, not floating. 
So that's marching the pulse with the key. So the true lady didn't talking about what's the Jue Yin pulse. The true lady didn't talk about what's the Jue Yin pulse. But the Jue Yin pulse should still should be in deeper level, but maybe not that strong. We say Jue Yin is a terminal Yin. And then some Yang will be coming. So that's why they didn't especially talking about the Jue Yin pulse here. So that's uh, in Huang Di Nei Jing, they talking about different uh, like uh, channels pulse, okay? different channels pulse. They, they are not especially separate, like uh, right now we're talking about, we say, Left side, yeah, left side, we have Chun Guan Chi. That's left side for patient. And right side for patient. Left side, we say Chun Guan Chi, we specially connected with different organs. So left side, we say that's the heart, liver, and the kidney. Right side, we say that's the lung, the brain, and the kidney yang, ming men. So in Huang Di Nei Jing, it didn't specially separate with this uh, like a different location and relationship with different organs here. They just talking about the general quality of the pulse. So that means you feel the most pulse like uh, what kind of quality in there. That's a different channels pulse. So that's, uh, they say, the three in, three yang pulse and the two in pulse. They didn't talk about the jue yin pulse there. Then we're coming back. Yeah, then we're coming back. Then we're coming back for the pulse, yeah, for the pulse. So they say when Tai Yang channel means Tai Yang pulse is more stronger. The tai Yang pulse is more stronger. So that can cause the patient's symptoms asthma or short breath. And the chi reversed. Yeah. Deficient chi, deficiency kind of chi. And make the chi reversed. So that's why people have kind of asthma or short breath. So when we talking about like uh, the symptoms or pulse here. We're talking about the general yin and the yang balance here. So we say when three yang pulse coming in the cell, like uh, all the pulse, like uh, three yang in there, means yin difference. So in defense here, still not like generally we talk about the organ in defense. We just talking about the pulse balance, yin yang pulse balance here. That kind of yin defense and the yang excessive. 
So that means make the path more floating there. So these kind of condition, yeah, these kind of condition, they also talking about the treatment. Yeah, they also talking about treatment. So treatment, uh, purging both externally and internally. What means externally and internally? So truly in Huang Di Nei Jing, they didn't say, but a lot of PCM practitioners are talking about, they are thinking about its externally channel relationship with internal channel. So basically they talking about your brother relationship with the team. That kind of externally and internally. And the acupoints located on the lower part of the limb. Still in Huang Di Nei Jing, yeah, still in Huang Di Nei Jing. It is still not especially say what kind of points in there. And uh, still some other TCM doctors, they say the points should be on the bladder 65 and the kidney three. Shoe points, yeah, shoe points should be used. So that's basically when Taiyang channel, like the pulse, coming itself. Then talking about the Yang Ming channel, we know Yang Ming channel's pulse should be on the still superficial but very, very strong because it's double yang qi is coming from there. So that kind of condition, still, yeah, still, in not enough, yeah, in not enough, yang too strong. So we need reducing some yang and tonify the yin. So the points the points are still located on the lower limbs. So still in Huang Di Nei Jing didn't specially give us points. But follow the same ruler, follow the same ruler. We still go to two string points and the yin yang channel connection there. So yang ming, so the yang ming is the stomach. So go to stomach 43. Reducing. And we go to in channel to tonify. So that's the spin. Still shoe points, but also Yuan South point three to tonify. So that's points coming from later other TCM doctors idea, yeah. Not originally in Huang Di Nei Jing. Huang Di Nei Jing just gave some idea, not truly gave us some points. Uh, I think from the beginning, we talking about, when we talking about Huang Di Nei Jing, 
we say Huang Di Neijing is the oldest TCM book right now we have. Even we, we have some TCM book before, but we missing, but we missing. So Huang Di Neijing is about 2000 to 2200 years ago, that's the book. After Huang Di Neijing, we have a lot of, lot of other TCM book. Uh, about uh, acupuncture part, yeah. So certainly about herb part, we have like a Shanghai Lun, Wen Bing Lun. About uh, acupuncture part, we have a few, few pretty famous book, like a Zhen Jiu Jia Yi Jing. That's special book for acupuncture. Zhen Jiu is acupuncture. J is needles. Jiu is masturbation. So Zhen Jiu, Jia Yi, uh, pretty similar like uh, we talking about, like uh, number one, Number two, that's coming from the heaven stream. Yeah, heaven stream. I think we talked about the heaven stream before. Yeah, so that's the older uh, like number one, number two, or sometimes people talk about the ABC. This means some basic idea about acupuncture, Mark Buster. Jing just means the great book, like we talking about Huang Di Nei Jing. So that's uh, after Huang Di Nei Jing, we have some special TCM book talking about uh, acupuncture yeah, and the points and the treatment. And we also have Zhen Jiu Da Cheng. Then you still acupuncture masturbation, and the da is bigger. Cheng is like everything is maturity, and also we have another good great book we call Zhen Jiu Da Quan. Quan means everything including together. So basically, this uh, book I write out here is a development acupuncture yeah, after Huang Di Lei Jing. So that's the point we talk about here. It's coming from the book after Huang Di Lei Jing. Truly, during Huang Di Lei Jing, they only gave us some idea. They didn't give us a special kind of point. But that's coming after Huang Di Neijing, some other great TCM doctors, the development from Huang Di Neijing. Then they gave us some points. Then, when Shaoyang channel, like the Shaoyang pulse coming, itself and the symptoms cause the reverse floating of the chi. Uh, so these reversing flowing of the chi it's not, we are not talking about the stomach chi words. Uh, not talking about uh, spring chi or uh, lung chi words. So basically people feel some chi, like kind of rushing up. 
pretty similar like a pimple tea in the salt area. So, Shaoyang Channel, yeah, Shaoyang Channel, located anterior to Yang Qiao. So that's basically if we feel the pulse in that location, we can feel the it suddenly getting stronger there. So we say originally 12 meridian, all high pop. So truly we can feel some pulse in that, that location. That means the Shaoyang channels qi so stronger. And the treatment, so acute points located the lower limbs. So we still, yeah, we still say that the points should be gallbladder 41. So when Shao Yang pulse is too strong, especially you feel the pulse in the channel there. So when Shao Yang channel it coming stronger itself, it's a Shao Yang channel hyperactive. So certainly when we go to gallbladder 41, we need a reducing. So that's the yang channel. Yeah, that's the yang channel. Then we go to yin channel. So tai yin yin channel, we say the pulse deeper and the forceful. That's the tai yin pulse. And then we need to see. Yeah, we need to see if there are two pulse, yeah, some, some words wrong here. Anyway, yeah. If there are two pulse show up, so what means the two pulse? Two pulse is the pulse without the stomach chi. We say pulse should be high stomach chi to harmonize there, yeah, to harmonize there. What I were the pulse originally, but they should be harmonized there. They may be very like liver pulse, but not too very. It's truly too very. That's the true zang pulse. So each of the five zang organs, they have their true zang pulse but they should be harmonized with stomach qi. Without stomach qi's pulse is a true zang pulse, or true pulse. So true, pu true zang pulse, that's basically is a pretty severe kind of condition. Yes, pretty severe kind of condition. Truly show true zang pulse. So that's we say if stomach chi harmonize there and the illness in the three in, we say three in is a tai in. And we treat by the needles, still lower limb. So we tonify yang, reducing yin. We still use the same points before. We talking about the yang excessive. We reducing stomach. Now we tonify stomach, 43. And reducing, 
the brain surgery. We call these full marking anemia. So that's for the Thai Yin channel, the pulse. Then double in, yeah, then double in. So double in is stronger there, build deeper. And uh, due to like a Shao Yin Qi rewards. And they will come in with some Yang Qi together. So that's basically double in uh that's go to the we say the case of a chi in the kidney yeah kidney uh kidney we call shao yin kidney we call shao yin but a chule that's the double yin and the double in getting some chi reverse. And they can go upward and affect all the other four organs. They use the four channel here. Basically, they talk about the other four organs, heart, Lung, liver, and the spleen. So that's a kidney disorder because kidney look like the root of the other four organs or four natural acids will be holding there. So that's will affect all the other organs, troubles, cause trouble. So treatment will focus on the channels and the meridians. So we still need to tonify yang and the reduce yin. So that's we use bladder channel, bladder 60, and the kidney 7, and the kidney 5. So still the points not originally coming from Huang Di Nei Ding is coming from other groups. So that's double in Shao Yin disorder. Then they talk about Wan Yin, Jue Yin, Jue Yin disorder. And that's lending deficiency of Zhen Qi or Tu Lei Qi. So that's the symptoms. Yeah, that's symptom. Tu Lei Qi control. That can cause the heart pain. Basically, we, we usually we talk about chest pain, but mainly in the heart area. And the right kind of sweat due to retention of flowing of the chi. So I think this kind of condition kind of clinically relationship with like if patient have like a heart attacking and got some oil kind of sweating. So that's a kind of severe kind of condition. So it can be treated regular diet combination with the drugs. 
So this kind of condition, uh, we are not only use the needles like last few. We need a combination with the verb. At the same time, if we pick up acupuncture points located still on the lower limb, so basically they're talking about liver three. So that's for three in condition. So basically in here, we only see the pulse, but truly clinically, we need to see the symptom. We, are, we couldn't only from the pulse, we say that's the tie in pulse or drain pulse. So like uh, they didn't give us so detail about pulse. So generally give us yang pulse in the yang location. Uh, certainly yang ming is more stronger, but the tai yang still in the superficial position. And the yin pulse, like uh, both tai yin and the shao yin in the deeper position. So truly we couldn't only according to the pulse make a diagnosis for which channel like a hyostic or yun. They gave some symptom relationship with pulse here, but uh, truly we need more symptom and the combination with the pulse. So that's basically for this chapter. Next page is about the like uh, the quality of the pulse we finished already.